day here, a lot of overcast, it's supposed to rain later tonight, but we should be able to get this one in today. And we're actually right on time, even though it <laughs> didn't look that way a few minutes ago, Coach. Here's Percy Campbell, the junior second baseman for Antioch, batting 4-10 on the season. The Panthers so far, as we mentioned, have been all over the place. Eight and seven overall, six and two in the BVL in first place with De La Salle and Deer Valley. First pitch is a fastball up high. They beat Heritage 15 to six on Tuesday. We saw a little bit of, of that game, yes, Coach. We did. Uh, you mentioned that they like to play a little small ball. They like to get guys on and set them in motion. Yes, he does. Uh, Coach Juarez believes in the small ball, tries to score the first run of the game, force the opponent to have to score two runs. Well, Ben Juarez is an interesting story. His first year after taking over for Vern Martin, and, of course, he, uh, he managed the Say Hey Kids, a youth team, uh, to some uh, big-time tournament wins in his uh, time there and also uh, coached at Pinole before taking over the Panthers. One and two to Campbell. Jimmy Miller will hit next. Yeah. Yeah, just about everything Fuller has thrown so far has been up in the strike zone, Coach. Yeah, a lot of that's got to do with adrenaline. You know, he's excited about this game today. And that's fouled back, and I guess the book on Campbell must be throw fastballs inside because that's where most of them have been. <laughs> Campbell's had a very busy season here. He's, he played basketball on the very... Uh, very fine basketball team. They had a great season in Antioch this year. Since the, your your heyday as a coach, probably they haven't played as well as they did the last two seasons. And there's a fastball for strike three, and that was just simply overpowering to the first batter, Campbell. One down, and Jimmy Miller, the senior right fielder, will be the hitter. Yeah, he ran that up there pretty quick. You know, if you're on deck and in the dugout, you want to try to stay off that. See what Jimmy does here. That could be a tough play. High chopper on the infield. And uh, Miller beats that out. That's an infield hit. Sean French is the shortstop. He took over for a great shortstop last year, Randy Wells, who's moved on. And uh, he made a nice play that time. But Miller, I think, would have beat it regardless of the throw. So he's on with an infield single. And Brandon Buck, who's having a fine year, the senior catcher batting 425, will be the hitter. And here's another look at it. Yeah, hit right in front of that hard dirt, took a high hop, and Miller runs pretty well, so it's going to be a tough play. We've seen that here traditionally in games that we've called here. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That the ball will take some high hops there if you can uh, drive it down in front of the plate. Buck and Carter, though, have uh, had pretty good years, and this is what Antioch wants to see. They're big guns up there. A lot of new names in the lineup this year for Antioch. They lost some guys. Uh, Bub Kamajas, of course, who was an all-league performer for the Panthers. Alex Pantel and Jason Sanchez, who is our colleague Steve Sanchez's son, have all moved on. And uh, Antioch last year was a pretty good team, 14-10 and 10 overall, 7-7 seven and seven in the BVAL. First off-speed pitch, throw to first, not in time. Is that late breaking ball. <laughs> Buck has been split in time with Mr. Harper behind the plate this year. Antioch beat Clayton Valley 9-8 back in March on the 13th of March. And interestingly enough, after losing their first three uh, games of the year, goes Miller. there's a swing and a miss and a beautiful throw right on the money, and Miller is out by a lot. Great nice. job behind the plate. Great job with his, on his release, quick, short release. Great job with his footwork. And just threw a seed right on target to second base. That was the shortstop French making the tag. Fouled off. And I've always wondered what it's like to live in one of those homes. And I know that if someone hit my it would be big time dues to pay. <laughs> Especially if I was home right now getting ready to watch the sharks. game five of some oh, uh, yeah. hockey. Well, see, I wouldn't be home watching the Sharks. Oh, that's, unless this is true. Road. I would be there. But uh, there's a fastball high. But if I was getting ready for, you know, the Ottawa-Pittsburgh series right now, I would not be happy. This is one of your busy times of the year. Breaking ball. Oh, that took an interesting hop to the third baseman, and the throw is in time. A nice play by Bruno to get it over to first base. In time, what basically amounts to a 1-2-3 inning for Antioch in the top of the 